nervous system what is the structure and how can you remember it so if you are using a manual to do your revision then you'll be familiar with a picture like this this is from the active iq level 3 manual and in here it literally says cns but that then leads down into pns and then you've got a couple of branches off that now i think that's a little bit misleading to understand where that flow is and where it is in perspective so i'm going to use my favorite tool a post-it note so i hope that's good with you so First off with this post-it note, you have your central nervous system. Now, no, that is not an ice cream cone on there. That is the brain and the spinal cord. So that's what's made up of your central nervous system. And then we have the peripheral nervous system. Now, this is a totally separate system. But instead of looking at, you see how that's the brain and spinal cord. Imagine that that's still on this image. The peripheral nervous system is all the nerves that come off of that brain and spinal cord. So it's coming away from the spinal cord. It's all of the things right down into our arms, into our hands, into our feet, etc. So it's our peripheral. Now, peripheral breaks down again into two parts. You've got somatic. And somatic is something we can voluntarily control. So although that looks a little bit like a chicken leg, <laughs> it's actually supposed to be a bicep. So it's something that we can voluntarily control in our body. And that's the somatic system. And then we have the autonomic system. And the autonomic is, again, a branch from this PNS. But here, the autonomic is in charge of the stuff that we don't control on a daily, on a regular basis, or on a minute by minute basis, which is just as well. Because if we had to remember to get our heart to beat, then we would potentially have a few problems. But here we can voluntarily say, I want my bicep to contract, and we can get it to contract. Here we can't say, I want my heart to stop beating. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. So this is our heart, this is our blood system, our circulatory system, our lungs, our organs, our... Um, sort of digestion system you've also got all of your um, hormones as well in here in your energy system so a lot of the stuff that you learn at level three involves this side of it then we've got sympathetic which is a part of the autonomic system so it comes off this one so it's sympathetic and you've also got parasympathetic now Sympathetic and parasympathetic are different parts of this autonomic. And it's because they prepare us to do different things. Sympathetic nervous system prepares for that fight or flight. This is an explosion on my image. So it allows you to prepare to get ready for fight or flight. So it's all about kind of ramping up the body in preparation. Whereas parasympathetic is about recovery. Think of a parachute recovering and bringing you back down to earth. That's recovery for parasympathetic. Totally opposite to sympathetic, but we need both. So that is my interpretation of the nervous system. And I hope this makes a little bit more sense than maybe what you come across in your manual. Please do pop a comment below. Let me know this was useful. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.